The return of long queues at petrol stations came with so many speculations and blame games. Even the political parties have thrown blames at each other trying to score cheap political points. But the president and his ministers seem to have the answer and are hopeful that the queues will soon disappear. The Federal Executive Council is concerned about the matter, discussed it, but beyond discussing, the president gave instructions on how to deal with it so that physical quantities will be available, the queues will diminish, and by the end of the week, uh, uh, we should have a situation that has clarified. There were three approvals in the area of environment, trade and investment. Accommodation for Investment and Securities Tribunal to be funded from a grant of over 400 million naira. The people have cases in the capital market. This is the court they go to. And we, they've simply, uh, you know, outgrown uh, the area they are in. They've been renting in a particular location. And so what we discussed was uh, how to move them uh, to some temporary facilities where they could be until such a time as we are able to find permanent offices with the help of FCT. While the Ministry of Industries, Trade and Investment got approval to procure auto testing laboratories in Lagos, Enugu and Zaria. The total cost was about 11 million euro, 574,082. And equipment and tools will be delivered within 36 weeks from the date the contract itself is awarded. But what are the benefits of these tools? They will support the development of local automotive content and testing, uh, testing to make sure that they meet with international standard. They will ensure that we have safety and health that the safety and health of Nigerians are adequately addressed as we develop that sector. The Minister of the Environment speaks on the national policy on the management of organic pollutants in the country. The objective also is to make progress towards compliance with the Stockholm Convention and raise the standard of human health and quality of the environment. The policy will now be transmitted to the National Assembly for enactment into law. Chukuma Onwekusi, Channels Television News.